Hi everyone, and welcome to It's All About the Alignment with me, Espen Hergen. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas to all of you guys. What a beautiful time, what a beautiful year this has been. And, and now just celebrating with family and friends and, and feeling the newness that is every single day. And uh, it's all, all so, so good and so, so well. So I'm um, gonna have a lot of fun. And now in this class and, and just expanding more uh, from where we are now and forward. And it's always nice to, to feel all those feelings and just feel it out and then speak it out, whatever what comes forth uh, from this moment. Like I love to say, uh, always when it's so fun, you can have those conversations with yourself and you say, you know, I just, you can say, I just source, I just want you to clearly speak my words. That's something. It's like source, I just, present moment always say feel you now i just want to clearly speak your words so like you know you say from yourself from who you truly are source i just want you to clearly speak my words and then ask and it is given so good so merry merry christmas each and every one of you who is here happy happy beautiful day gem she's always so amazing being back office and a beautiful leader always having much beautiful to share the same with super super duper duper dave happy beautiful day uh, super dave he's always so magical with the clarification and with describing things and have new perspective perspective and things and the same with jen you both you are so 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 amazing and happy beautiful day jacqueline she's on it albania and i was at last year and what a great time with beautiful people there there is so amazing so loving so caring so sharing so kind and and everyone is helping everyone you know they are having this family friends they they're helping each other in so many ways and they are so beautiful amazing people albania macedonia and kosovo they're all they're beautiful people beautiful amazing people and uh Happy, happy, merry, merry Christmas to all of you, Albanian, and to the whole world, to everyone who's here listening. Happy, happy Christmas. Merry, merry Christmas. So who's more? Basim, hi. Merry Christmas, Basim. Merry Christmas, Jacqueline. Jen, super day. So, so cool. This is so, so amazing. So good to be here. What a great year, what a great year. So I'm gonna share something, you know, Jen sent me a message, a beautiful thing, and I want to read on this and then we just like expand on that. So what, if you have any comments or anything you would love to share from that, what I'm going to share with you now, please comment and uh, yeah, this is so fun, this is so good. So here we go, let's see, we're gonna check it out here. Oh, Jen, you got that, <laughs> that was a long one. So, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna read it now. I see the whole thing here. We're asking you to trust in the well, by well-being. In optimism, there is magic. In pessimism, there is nothing. In positive expectation, there is a thrill and success. In pessimism or awareness of what is not wanted, there is nothing. What you're wanting to do is redefine your relationship with the stream. We do not ask you to look at something that is black and call it white. We do not ask you to see something that is not as you want it to be and pretend that it is. What we ask you to do is practice moving your gaze, practice changing your perspective, practice talking to different people, practice going to new places, practice sifting through the data for the things that feel like you want to feel and using those things to cause you to feel a familiar place. In other words, we want you to feel familiar in your joy, familiar in your positive expectation, familiar in your knowing that all is well, because this universe will knock itself out, giving you evidence of that well-being once you find that place 
we have enjoyed this interaction immensely. There is great love here for you. We are complete. That was from Abraham Hicks. What a beautiful, oh, so is there anyone who have any expansion on this? What a beautiful thing. It's so many nuggets of gold and so many beautiful, it's, it's just like a beautiful moving forward energy, knowing there is more to become and there is more to come and knowing there is always newness in every moment. There is always new things to experience and there is always more feelings of joy and fun and there is always more to come in, in our, our, um, in our creation. And that we all know that it's already created many of those things we've been asking for, and it's already in the vortex. And to just feel our own alignment, those things will be experienced more and more that is in the vortex. So, uh, so good. So good. Ooh, what a beautiful, beautiful day. And to be here, it's just two days now. And <coughs> then it's Christmas. So what are you going to do in the Christmas Buddhist? And uh, you want you want to share something beautiful or whatever, you know, you can share anything or everything that you feel for. It's uh, a free place to comment here. Let's see, Dave, Super Dave, he said, I have many nuggets, but the simplest one I'm feeling now is, it's easier to flow downstream by flowing downstream. I love that. Day. Can you do you do you like to do you want to expand on that? What do you like? What is an, uh, an example of that of that downstream by flowing flowing downstream? If you if you want to, you can. You can share. I so low what you share that it's it's very simple. Yeah, it's like there is no hours, there is no rushing or pushing, but it's really just going downstream with the downstream to moving forward. So Jan, you shared it feels so good to deliberate shift or focus and to hold or focus on what feels good. It feels so good to deliberate shift or focus and to hold our focus on what feels good. I love that, Jan. So good. It feels so good. It's so true. It feels so good to deliberate, to be aware, and to ha hold our focus on those things that feels good to us, that, that feels good for us, and then just be in that vibration and then letting it happen for us to feel more of it. We're like not trying to harp or make it happen, but be in that vibration and then moving forward with, with that. Hi, Shanela. So good to have you here. You know, if you're always welcome, if you want to, you know, Jen, please share her the, the Be Live link. If you want to, you can come in and, and translate if you want. And that's up to you, Janela. You are always welcome to come in here now and sharing and uh, speaking your language to, to the people and expanding your. Uh, Holidays so expanding your energy and whatever. It's all so good. It's all so well. Happy beautiful day, Roxy. Happy wonderful day, Roxy. And we say, Jen, we are the creators of our own life experience. That's so true. Because then it's the inside that that are expanding the outside, or that that are experience the outside. So when we feel good, everything outside feels different but when we feel bad then it feels bad you know it's like it's not neither good or bad but it's just, just like a guidance to know where we are in our, in emotion and emotion is not bad emotion is our guidance and and uh, it's so freeing to know that it really does matter uh, where we are in our emotion because we have our guidance and we can always feel good and better and better that's our free energy Say sure. Let's see. Uh, they want to expand on that. What I ask him for. Like, let's see a little bit up here. He said, "I have many nuggets, but the simplest one I'm feeling now is it's easier to flow downstream by flowing, flowing downstream." So now, Super Dave is expanding on that. And sure. So by feeling good, 
and flowing with who we are, being true to our feelings and allowing ourselves to flow forward. Longer the gaze and then the focus tends to consistently be more on what we want. I love that day. That is so, so good what you share there. True to our feelings. Yeah, because feelings, it's, it's to being true when we are being true to our feelings is also easy to to move from the feeling to feel better also because we don't try to avoid any of those things. You know, feelings are feelings. They, they come and they go and they can come in different um, feelings and different emotions, but really it's it's not good or bad it's uh it's all good it's all well and when we are true to our feelings it's easy to allow ourselves to flow forward and then shift our gaze to what we want and the more we do that the longer the gaze and then the focus tend to consistently be more on what we want that's true today thanks for sharing that it's so powerful empowering it's so empowering and knowing that we are so free and nothing has been going wrong all this all is good Happy holidays to all people. Yes, Shanetta. Happy holidays to all people here. Everyone who's here listening. Happy, happy holiday. And Merry, Merry Christmas. We are very soon and close to the Christmas day, but like Christmas is every day, or alignment is all every day. So more to come. Would you say, Jen? It is so important to acknowledge and be okay with where we are. Act so we can flow forward, flow down, that flow down. So that's so true also because it's it's we don't have to to try to when we are feeling something and then to 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 avoid it or to try to change it or try to to make more of it what it is, but really just be to be honest and acknowledge that you know this is what I feel, okay, and then moving forward and, and like what feels a little bit better. And being in that space of okay, you know, this is it's okay. I'm now I'm feeling this, it, it feels, and then what feels a little bit better. So all feelings are are good in some way or another. They, they are guided. We if we wouldn't know what you know, it wouldn't be bad feeling. We wouldn't know what what would be good feelings. So it's not really good or bad. It's all well, well and and good. How <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It's all good. It's all good. Happy beautiful day, Dawn. Happy beautiful day, Dawn. Merry Christmas to you, you and Tracy. Beautiful couple, amazing couple. So fun, always laughing and enjoying themselves. And and also to Jen and Scott, beautiful couple. I like your hat, Esmer. Thank you. Thank you, Janela. There is there is more to come. Let's check out. I'm just going to see if there's something more. We're gonna have fun today, right? Oh. This is so good. This is nice. Happy, beautiful day. Cool. What else? We say, yes, Christmas is every day. And this is so true. Yes, Christmas is every day. And when we are feeling our own alignment and the essence of who we truly are, we feel that regardless of what we of what the calendar says or what's happening outside of us it's that freeing i love that you share uh, that i want to read it one more time yes christmas is every day and when we are feeling our own alignment and the essence of who we truly are we feel that regardless of what the calendar says or what's happening outside of us it's that freeing so true because it's we are not depending on the christmas to feel good to feel good now it's not depending on anything we can always feel good so christmas is every day say like christmas is like feel good now and it's it's christmas every day <laughs> so cool so yes jen say yes all feelings are good appreciate the guidance yeah i appreciate the guidance thank you guidance thank you so much all feelings are good and, and i'm so appreciative of guidance and it's the guidance is not good or bad the guidance is our guidance to to feel good now and better and better and that we can choose 
and it's really not it not either good or bad what we choose it's all well it's all good there is no judgment or criticism or condemnation from source source is allowing and and supporting uplifting and always loving and caring and sharing the best to us and through us never looks back always moving forward gentle easy and general so so good so so good this is cool so more to come you know maybe i'm gonna read something here let's just see from the money and the law of attraction you're just gonna have fun you see where it goes this is the book just have some fun I know the change the hat at uh, Christmas. It's getting better. <laughs> you know, Christmas is every day. We have more fun, more joy. All is well. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's a sea here. Kind of like that. It's good. Say, so Shanetta, what is she saying? Well, yes, everything is always working out for us in every way. And knowing that we deserve things and everything that, that we want to experience, not because we have done something or we have read something, but simple for being a part of that source energy masterpiece and so perfect in every way. Feel good and allow. I love that. Shanetta, so very well said. That is so true. And, and source is allowing yourself to to feel that every single moment and more and more and it's so freeing and it's not depending on anything outside it's a beautiful inside feeling it's always connected to us and through us and it's always in a connection to all that is and a collective energy in everything in every particle in every thing that is say so reading from money in the law of attraction yeah let's see gonna have more fun <laughs> is this working <laughs> merry christmas <laughs> yeah this is good a lot of lights we like lights it's good you know easy gentle this is something new it looks a little bit fun but it's it's good we like fun yeah so now i'm gonna play it out this one okay cool this is good this is good <laughs> so uh, can we consciously grow new muscle and bone jerry i consciously deliberate adding muscle to my body in my early years because i wanted to but can we consciously affect our bones as well abraham you can in the same way the difference is that the current belief about the muscle is there the current belief about the bone is not jerry that's true i saw a man who had developed tremendous muscles and i wanted that and because many others were doing it i believe i could too but i haven't seen bone changed Abraham, the reason that more things do not change more quickly in your societies today is because most people are giving their attention predominantly to what is. In order to affect change, you must look beyond what is. It slows down, it slows you down tremendously if you need to see evidence of something before you believe it. Because that means you have to wait for someone else to create it before you can believe it. But when you understand that the universe and the law of attraction will respond to your imagined ID as quickly, as quickly as it responds to an observed ID, then you can move quickly into new creations without having to wait for someone to accomplish it first. That is so good. Okay, cool. Let's see. That is so good because um, we don't have to have any you know, evidence or any proof. But when we can get ourselves into the vibration of what we ask for, 
and and feeling that what we that we ask for and what we want and we feel the vibration and, and the energy of it then it will transform and be be the experience for us to to feel and to to experience so it's all about the vibration it's all of, i would say it's all about the vibration when when there is something when you feel about it because you you ask and it's given you get you get it if you want it or not and it's not about how you say the words it's not about the words but it's also it's always the vibration behind the words it's always the vibration the feeling of that when you ask that you that you get not the words but always the vibration always the feelings of that what you ask for so that's the thing that's the thing that's the cool thing yes yes so what else do you have some expansion on this do you want to expand it out or something this is fun this is really really fun more to come if you have any comments on this please share this is cool more to come Let's see here. Okay, cool. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Yeah, just can continue moving forward. See if there's something else from this book. I'm gonna read more. This one. Okay, I'm gonna read all of this. This is fun. And just see where it goes. <laughs> Filled my void through service. Filling my void through service is page 177 on money and the law of attraction. So, filling my world through service. Jerry, so during my 20 years in a wide variety of positions in the entertainment industry, I really had a lot of fun. It required only a few hours of my time, and I had a lot of adventures challenged because I had so many new experiences. And yet, I often told people that I felt like I was walking across the sands of life. But when I look back, there were no tracks in other words i felt that i was bringing my audience some temporary pleasure but i wasn't leaving them with anything of permanent value do we all inherently have those drives to uplift others do they come from another level of ourselves or do we pick those intentions up from others around us once we are born into this physical environment and let's see Abraham, you are born wanting to be of value, wanting to uplift, and you are born understanding that you have value. Most of that feeling of lack that you were describing was not about your not being able to provide lasting value to others, but because your thoughts were keeping your way, you, you away from your own personal alignment. It works like this. When you are in alignment with who you really are, with your inner being or source, you cannot help but uplift those with whom you come into contact. Contact, And in that alignment, you do not notice so many others who are not in alignment. The law of attraction does not surround you with dissatisfied people when you are satisfied. And the law of attraction does not surround you with satisfied people when you are dissatisfied. 
You simply cannot compensate for your own misalignment by offering more time or energy or action. You cannot find ideas that are effective enough to make up the difference. Your value to those around you hangs upon only one thing, your personal alignment with source. And the only thing you have to give to another is an example of that alignment, which they may, which they may observe, then desire, and then work to achieve. But you cannot give it to them. The entertainment that you provide to your audience was actually a much bigger gift than you were able to acknowledge and the time and then you were able to acknowledge at the time for you were providing distraction from troubling things and in the absence of your audience members attention to the problems they did achieve in many cases temporary alignment with source but you cannot go with each of them holding yourself as the only object of attention in order to maintain their good feeling. Everyone is responsible for their thoughts they think and the things that they choose as their objects of attention. All of you have to all of you have deep within you an understanding that you are here as joyous creators and you are always being called toward that, that fulfillment. But there is not a long list of requirements that you are expected to accomplish. Your intention was to let your physical environment inspire your never ending ideas of expansion or desire. And then you intended to align with the source energy within you for the, for the achievement of those ideas. In other words, you knew you, your desires would be born from your partic participation here and then once the desire was a lie within you you could focus your thoughts until you you accomplish a feeling of expectation and then your desire would come to fruition the primary role that others around you play in the equation for creation is they provide variety 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 from which you desires are born it was not your intention to measure your value against the value of others but to be inspired to new ideas by the combination of things going on around you any comparison to others is only meant to inspire expanded desire it was never intended as a means to diminish you or to discount your value your life is not about what you will do after work on the weekend or after you retire your life is happening now and it's really represented by how you are feeling now. If your work feels unpleasant or unfulfilling or hard, it is not because you are standing in the wrong place, but because your perspective is clouded by contradicted thought. You cannot have a happy ending to a journey that has not been pleasant along the way. The end absolutely does not justify the means. This the means or the path along the way always bring about the essence of an identical ending. Beautiful. Whew. So good. More to come. Let's see what you say. Jen say, always, always flowing forward, deliberate, deliberate <laughs> always flowing forward deliberately in the direction of that which feels better to you. I love that, Jen. Always flowing forward deliberately in the direction of that piece, on that which feels better to you. I love that. And, and we all have different things that feels good for us and that we like and that we love and that, uh, you know, it's, it's differences. And we are all different in, in our own creation. We all are not on the same place. We're not walking the same path. We are all walking our own path. We are all looking at those things around in our own way observing it in their own way everything is you you me me you know it's all it's all us it's all it's all the connection from the non-physical energy in the physical and it's in all of us and we all have our own creation our own world and that's the freedom that's the freeing energy to that that is in all of us so beautiful jen and happy beautiful day byram happy beautiful day byram Merry Christmas. Shoo. 
more to come. It's the shining light of <laughs> all of us. <laughs> so good. We say our being and shining from our alignment is the greatest service we can provide. I love that, Jen. Our being and shining from our from our alignment is the greatest service we can provide. And that's so true, Jen. And when we are present and feeling good, that's the best thing we can the service we can provide. And that's the best thing we can give another person to be happy. Be happy by yourself. Feel good by yourself. That's the best thing. Not to try making anyone happy, but just be happy by yourself because that's the best thing to influence and to, to uplift others. It's be by happy by yourself. It's um, happiness is not depending on anything outside. Happiness is um, you're happy first and then everything around you feels in the same. It's, uh, it's not depending on outside. Amnuska, hello, Amnuska. Vani, love what you shared. Alignment is life. Yeah, so good, Nuska. And a happy, happy day. It's so good to see you here. It's a long time. It's amazing woman from London. I know I've been missing her for a long, long time ago. Uh, she shared. She she gave me a one day for staying, and I was just around the London places and when moving around and then. Have a good time with good friends and it was so amazing. Happy beautiful day on us and, and Merry Merry Christmas to you and your family, to all of you. So good, so good, so good to have you here. And, to, and so good to have all of you who is here. So, so good. You're all amazing. And you all everyone I've been you I've been seeing and observing. We said everyone I have who I have been experienced to be together with, you know, all of you, you're amazing. But each and everyone who is here, you are all amazing. So good. What else? It was so amazing to have you in. Thank you. It was so amazing to have you. I'm now in Barcelona. Barcelona, that's the place I love to visit sometimes. So good. I hope you are enjoying your time there. And you are you going to stay there? Do you have family there or just like a vacation thing? Are you going to stay over the Christmas, the holidays there? Say, Chanel, I say, yes, you can't help someone if you are not in alignment for yourself. Because, yeah, uh, if you're feeling lack and you then try to help on anyone, you can't be in the problem and feeling bad and then try to, to get other, other people to feel good because your vibration is not good. You know, if you don't feel good, it's, it's not so easy to, to help others to, to feel the same. It's all the vibration. It's all about the energy. It's all about the frequency of who you are when you feel good. And you're not thinking about other people feeling good, but you just like being selfish enough to say, telling yourself the most important for me is to feel good. And I'm not depending on anyone else to feel good for me to feel good. I'm so free. So that is the easiest way to influence and help and support and, and uplift other people. It's by feeling good by yourself. My family is here. I will be here for a couple more months. Beautiful. I hope you enjoy your time with your family. Aneska, so good to have you here. So nice to hear from you also. A beautiful, amazing woman. And uh, I'm so happy for you. I see you, you do many wonderful things. And that's, that is so great. So what else? What else? Let's see. I'm going to play with this and just see what it brings to us. This beautiful, there is always more to come. We have. Like 10 minutes left. Time goes so fast when we have fun. Yeah, maybe that one. Cool. Cool. Yeah, okay. It's just say, it's say, just say here, Money Rolf and try to say, there is no right or wrong way to tell your improved story. It can be about your past, present, or future experiences. The only criterion, criterion that is important is that you be conscious of your intent to tell a better feeling, improved versions of your story. Telling many good feeling short stories throughout your day will change your point of attraction. Just remember that the story you tell is the basis of your life. So tell it the way you want it to 
be so nice. Something expansion of that. Hi, Dorina. So good to see you. A happy Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. So, so good. <sighs> so, so good. This is so fun. Yeah, just to see if there's something else here. Just play it out. Uh, this one. Here. Oh, here is something fun. Just expand. My story of financial success. Okay, that was a great one. We can just read and see where it goes. It's a lot of reading here. Okay, we have time. We can read and have fun and enjoy this. So my story of financial success. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Now maybe a little bit like uh, it's this. Is this? Does this look nice? Light <laughs> like this. No. Let's see. Okay, cool. So, my story of financial success. Question. All is well. That's what I can think through that whole conversation, that all is well. And I feel that inside. It feels so wonderful and so organic in a way. And I guess that that's just my question. Is that part of the process? Abraham, that's all of the process because as we said, 99% per of all creation is, is completed vibrationally before you get the evidence of it. So it's like traveling from Phoenix to San Diego and San Diego is where you want to be. But for most of the distance of 400 miles, you're not where you want to be. And if it, and if it frustrates you that you're not there, vibrationally speaking, you would just turn around and go back to Phoenix. You would never get there. But in terms of this physical journey from place to place, you say, well, I understand that journey, so I can make that. I can see my progress. I can see that with every mile, I stay focused in that direction, that I'm getting farther from where I don't want to be and closer to where I do want to be. And we say, so you keep the faith because you have this evidence that shows you you're getting close. You're getting closer. You're getting closer. So. Unless you're walking, nobody gets discouraged about that journey. In other words, you hold that, you hold the faith, you hold the belief. You don't say San Diego is an impossible dream. You don't say San Diego's incurable. I tried and tried and tried and tried and I can't get there because you can get there and you know you can. When you make the connection that the way you feel is your indicator of the direction that you're moving, and you can honestly say to yourself, I do feel optimistic. When I say all is well, I mean it. I really feel it. Then we say, then you can, then you can't not get there. If you can maintain that expectation and that attitude and that vibrational frequency, it has to come and it will come fast. So you say, okay, I'm on my way. I talked to Abraham and Abraham went on for way more than 68 seconds. And I got the feeling of the vibration of it. And when I said, all is well, I really felt it. And then I looked at my real life situation and I saw I wasn't yet in San Diego. In other words, I look at something and I felt the negative hit of it because I'm not where I want to be. I want to do something and I don't have the money to do it. And I felt the disappointment. And we say, good, 
the disappointment is your indicator that whatever you just happened and caused you to lose your sense of expectation and to begin focusing upon something different from your expectation. What can you do now? Bring yourself back to that feeling. When you work in that feeling of discouragement, uh, discouragement to bring yourself to something that feels better, you clean up your vibration in a way that it will never return to that negative place again. In other words, when you feel negative emotion and you take the time to chew on it as we are here until you actually feel relief, which will take you usually 68 seconds or more to get there, when you actually viscerally feel the relief, now you're no, now you're never going to have to clean up that vibration again on that subject in just that way. You move in the universe. You move to a different vibrational vantage point. And here's the most important thing that we want you to hear about that. Because you move to a different vibrational vantage point, the manifestational evidence has to shift too. So in the moment that you make the effort to do that, all things in the universe regarding that subject respond to the new vibration that you're offering. So that's the day you get an ID that pays off for you. That's the day you rendezvous with somebody who has something to offer you and you have something to offer them and you exchange something financially as a result of it. In other words, that little bit of effort, you couldn't see that it was getting you closer to San Diego. You couldn't see it because it's not like driving your car toward the destination, but you felt it. So you knew it. And because you felt it, and because you understood it, the importance of the way you felt, you keep it up and you kept it up and you kept it up and you kept it up. And pretty soon, you don't just hope that you have your abundance. You don't just believe it. You know it because the evidence is so empathically surrounding you. Just thought by thought, by thought, by thought, by thought, by thought, you, you can, you clean it up, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. What do we mean by clean it up? You tell it, it, you tell it the way you want it to be and tell it less the way you don't want it to be. You stop facing reality and you start creating reality. So your friends say, what are you up to? And you say, all good things. And they say, were you able to buy that thing you wanted to buy? Or did you get that job you wanted to get? And you say, I'm right on track with it. And they say, no, you didn't understand my question. Fun. Did you get it? And you say, you didn't understand my answer. I'm on track for it. I'm on track for it. And they say, well, if you don't have it, you don't have it. And you say, ah, not true at all. I have it vibrationally. And now that I got it vibrationally, it must come to me. It is law. I got it vibrationally. Well, how do you know it is coming? Because I feel good. Because I feel so good. Well, you feel good before you got it. <laughs> Fun. What's wrong with you? I know the process. I have achieved vibrational alignment with my desire. And so it must come. It is law. How do you know you achieved vibrational alignment? Your negative friend says, how do you know you achieve vibrational alignment with what you want? I feel good every time I think about it. I feel good when I think about my fortune. I don't feel sarcastic and I don't feel disappointed and I don't feel discouraged. I feel 
optimistic because I know it's coming. <laughs> in fact, I'm so optimistic. Look at my list of what I'm going to do with it. This is my list of what I'm going to do with it. There's another game that we offer. It's a checkbook game where you deposit $1,000 into your account, vibrational dollars, and you spend that $1,000. On the second day, you deposit $2,000 and spend them. On the third day, you deposit $3,000 and spend them. On the 365th day, you deposit $365,000 and spend it. So as you are spending this money vibrationally, as you are mentally spending it, what's happening is you are creating outlets out there for it to go. When you create a vibrational outlet, it draws everything for the accomplishment of it through you. That's what eagerness is. That's what passion is. That's what your feeling of enthusiasm is. In other words, when you present in this time-space reality, the vibrational preparing of a desire, it sets things into motion that when you let yourself go with them, you feel wonderful. And when you don't let yourself go with them, you feel awful. Did you hear that? That means that if you feel really bad about something, it means you have asked for something and the larger part of you has become something that you're not letting the rest of you keep up with. We want you to realize that you're the reason that your stream moves as fast as it does. And you're also the reason that you are pointed with, with or against the current and everything you feel is about that. Everything that you want is because you think you will feel better in the having of it, whether it's money or a material, material object or a relationship or an experience, circumstance, event. Everything that you want is because you think if you had it, you would feel better. And when you discover that just the idea of it will make you feel better, now you achieve the vibrational essence of it. And then, the law of attraction has to yield it to you in all of the intricate details that your life has caused you to carve, carve, carve out for yourself. It has to be, and in fact, it is. In your, envir in your environment, today, environment today, you are projecting because of what you're living now into the future improved life experience. That when new energies are born into new infant bodies who are not resistant, they will then, because they're new and not resistant, reap the benefit of what you have put into the mass consciousness vibrational escrow. Just as you, in your time and space, are reaping the benefits of what past generations have set forward. Because you just can't live life as humanity without asking for improvement. What we are wanting to propose to you is that you don't have to croak, croak to close your gap, and you don't have to be reborn in order to reap the benefit of what you have launched. You, you can do it all here and now, in this lifetime. In fact, that's what you're planned. You say, I will go forth. And then the variety, variety will inspire me to an ID. And once the ID has hatched within me, I will give it my undivided attention. Well, isn't that what we are just saying to you? Give your undivided, undivided attention to your newly hatched desires and never mind the, really, the re reality that was the basis that caused you to want them. Let your awareness instead of being, this is where I am. This is the thing that we most want. The seminar, seminar to say to you in a way that you can hear it. B, it doesn't matter where you are because it's so temporary. It's just like the indicator on, on your gas gauge, gauge. 
Have you noticed how quickly it moves? Fun, especially lately. In other words, it's just an indicator. That's all it is. It's an indicator. So what's manifesting is just a temporary indicator of a temporary vibration. But you say, well, it didn't feel all the temporary because I've been living it for a long time. And we say, it's because you've been having the same response and offering the same vibration. So it's the same thing happening. But it's new. You're not living the same life. It's a new living of a new life from a new vibration. It's just that the vibration that you're offering now is the same one that you offered yesterday because you get the habit of thinking of things the way you thought of them yesterday. If you've been away from the home that you grew up in for a while or away from the people that were, that were there when you were growing up, and if the home and if the people are still there, go there soon and see how well you fit as you realize how much has happened in your life that has made you so different than who you were when you lived there. And then realize that in every moment of every day, this sort of expansion is taking place within you. We love your question. We love the question, how do I get from where I am to where I want to be? And the answer is, look in the direction of where you want to be and speak in the direction of where you want to be and never again look back over your shoulder about where you have come from and if you are and if you can pull that one off as soon as tomorrow you will have evidence of your very table fortune question mark Ast astounding Thank you. Wow. That's the message. <laughs> I love this. And we are co-creating and this. This is whew, so, so feeling so good. Feeling so, 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 so good. So let's see. Let's see the comments here. We are just, let's say we, let's see. So do, 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 do. Pauline, how, hi Pauline, so good. Pauline, happy beautiful day, everyone. And happy storytelling. Thank you so much, Pauline. And you're so welcome. Thank you. And Shanetta. Hi, Pauline. Yes, Pauline. Oh, love your blue hat, Espen, from the galaxy. Exactly. <laughs> you know, we put on the blue hat again. So nice. <laughs> That's so much fun. Uh, it's shining bright, just like all of us. <laughs> it is so nice. So what else? Let's see, happy day, marionettes. Marionettes. Happy day, marionettes. And a beautiful bright Shanetta. Happy beautiful alignment. So good. We are also kind to each other. I love that. That's that's who we are. Everyone, each and every one here. So see, you're so welcome, Shanetta. This story is beautiful. We 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 got it. We ask and it is given. Yes, we are perfectly on track for everything we ask for. It's all downstream. Jen say, thank you, Shanetta. Uh, thank you, Jen. Start being creative rather than a reactor, like Jen says. Yeah, that's so cool. Start being a creator rather than a reactor. We don't react to what we're creating our life. And we know it's all about our focus. Now we know that we don't have to look back on our shoulder. We can look forward and what's next? What's next? What feels good? and be a deliberate creator of our own reality and, and telling a new different story and feel that new way we're telling the story. And then that's gonna be the new experience we have in our life. And every day will be more and more and expand more and more. What else? Uh, Jen, thank you. Let's see, we go down here. Reality is another synonym for perception. There is no another reality than the one that you create for yourself. Yeah, that's, that's we're creating our own reality, each and every one of us. It, it's so freeing, so good. I'm creating my reality, Jen creating her reality, Shanetta creating her, her reality, Pauline create her own reality. We all creating our own reality, each and every one of us. It's so freeing. We are full of joy, looking for a way to express. Yeah, so true, Jen, Shanetta and Pauline. Oh, love, love that blue hat. That was the thing, yeah, magical. Now you got to see it again. <laughs> so fun. And this one, Christmas. 
and more to come. <laughs> and this is so fun. This is so good. You know, I I so appreciate of all of you guys uh, coming together here, co-creating and being yourself, sharing every sharing and, and commenting and sharing your energy in this be live. Uh, the be live on the Facebook here for Best Art Creation Society, and it is so wonderful to to always do this and uh, be live, and it's always feeling so free and so good. So, thank you, thank you so so much, each and every one of you. You know, there is always more to come. There is always more to come, and uh, this is just this is just the beginning of the beginning, and there is there is more fun and joy to come our way, and uh, I will definitely be come back again sharing something before the new year so until that that time i wish you everyone a merry merry christmas with love and joy and peace and fun and enjoying time with family and friends and that you are all feeling good inside and that's the most beautiful thing you know i want you all to feel your own joy your own feel good now that you know that the most important for yourself is to feel good and, and that to be selfish enough to tell yourself that the most important for me is to feel good and to feel that feel good and to feel that joy and, and that peace and all of those those feelings that feels best for you and and then move on from there and that's it. More to come. So love you so much and uh Merry Christmas and see you see you soon again and enjoy your Christmas. So Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Bye.